Welcome back. Conti continuing question two. So why can we why do we minus instead of plus <clears throat> since the question is left left? So what do we do here first is that we start giving out each participant three balloons. All right, give the least number first, which is three. The next one three all the way. We do not know how many participants are there in this question. However, because there are balloons left, we can ensure that everyone receives three balloons each, and then you have five four zero left so in this case i'm gonna continue giving out more how many more to each participants four so four here all the way all the way and because after giving out all the the four balloons more i have 60 left so in the end i'm left with 60 now 540 to 60 which means that if i take 540 minus 60 this 480 comes here so, in this case, we understand that 480 balloons enter this black box here. So, for a total of 480, for 4 each. That's why we take 480 divided by 4, I get 120. So, there are 120 participants. And then, I will do the normal working. 120 times 3, I have 540 left after giving. That's how I get 900. Same thing, double check. 120 participants times 7 balloons, I'm left with 60. So after giving out this um, 7 balloons each, I'm left with 60. That's why I plus. And that's my answer, 900. Alright, so I hope you understand this question. So next, um, is Rika now. So question, if she bought uh, many holders in this pen, so why do we minus? Why short short we minus? So first, let's start off giving by the uh, least number of pens inside each holder. So if each number of pens is... 25 25 question is that because I'm short off after giving 25 each to each holder um, the problem here is that I won't be able to fill up all the holders which means the last few holders I'm lacking of this 70 short right so based on your understanding or your logic if you're short of pens already and if you want to top up more pens inside each holder of course you're not gonna fill up Fill them up. So because I'm short of this 70, alright, if I'm gonna put more pens here, okay, including this 70, okay, the blue box that I've drawn, okay, the total here is 406 short, okay, because this amount of red color model is the amount of pens Rika have. So because you want to give more pens, too bad, you're not gonna fill up all of them, okay, everything here is 460. So that's why we take four zero sorry four zero six minus seventy three three six zero uh three three six pence is the above portion for this amount of pence to top up by eight which is thirty three minus twenty five so three three six is y we minus okay and then thirty three minus twenty five is each each and that's how we get the answer forty two for each uh, for the holder so number of holders times twenty five okay I'm short of seventy so I need to minus that. And if I want to have uh, 33 pence in each holder, 42 times 33, alright, and then I need to minus 406 to get 980 pence as well. So this is a sure method. You don't have to draw a model for every gap and difference question because um, model has no marks in PSLE, alright. So the steps here, working here, contains marks, and this working is based on my understanding of this model, alright. So it's a sure method that you can use to solve any question like this, okay. And avoid using um, guess and check, especially when you're P5 and P6, okay? All this qu this three question is rather unfriendly in numbers. That's why I'm using these unfriendly questions to show you that there's a sure method to use, okay? Make sure you bring a calculator, otherwise you have problem calculating. Lastly, okay? Don't confuse, okay? This question as gap and difference. Okay, there's a few reasons why. Because for gap in difference, if you realize the number of students, participants, and um, whatsoever, they are always in same in numbers. However, for this question, if you read them, the bundles are not the same. All right. So if we apply the concept, what will happen? All right. So let's just try the um, standard gap in difference method, and I'll explain to you why it's wrong. So first, short short four minus three. 1. Next, each each. So each group is 10 minus 7, I get 3. 
then there's a problem now. One divided by three, I get one third. One third group or one third pants or whatsoever. Why am I wrong? Okay, because this question bundles, okay, um, it's not the same number of bundles for both cases, right? So you have to be, be careful in this question. So what is the proper method to use for this question is this. Multiples of 7 when I minus 4. It must be the same or same as multiples of 10 minus 3. So in this case, it doesn't matter whether this is the 5th multiple or 4 multiple as long as we get the same answer. So for here, if we do 1 times 7 minus 4, I have 3. And over here, I get 1 times 10 minus 3, I get 7. So of course it's not. So if I got 2, 2 times 7 minus 4, I get the, um. 14 and 10, sorry. Okay, and 2 times 10 minus 3, I get 17. So the next one, if I do 3 times 7 minus 4, and I get 17. Ah, from here I realized that I got 17 pens for this. It's the same thing, right? So which means that uh, if I have 17 pens, I can bundle 3 bundles of this and 2 bundles of this. Am I right? Yes, but however, the question states that Charlotte has more than 50 pens. So how? So since this is the smallest possible number, However, because it's more than 50, what you can do here is that the common multiple of 7 and 10 is 70. So plus that to it, so 17 plus 70, I get 87 and this is the answer. Let's double check. If I take 87 divided by 7, I have something remainder 4. Sorry, something remainder 3. Yeah, I think I did a calculation error. So why is it 87? Oh, sorry. Because if we find the 87 plus 4, we get 91. So over here, if we do multiples of 10, it will be 90 minus 3. I get 87. From here, 91 minus 4, I get 87. 91 is a multiple of 7. 90 is a multiple of 10. So when you minus, we get 87 as well. So what you can do here is that find the least possible number, then multiply or add the common multiple until you get um, 50, more than 50, all right? So for this question, the plus 70 is this reason why. Otherwise, you're going to write down all the way, all the multiples, all the multiples until you get 87, which is quite ridiculous. So find the smallest um, possible answer that is same, add by the smallest common multiple of both 7 and 10 to get the answer. Right, so this question is definitely different from gap and difference, and so I hope you remember this uh, gap and difference question, left shot, left left short shot question. So remember this concept, and you will save a lot of time during your exam. Okay, so thank you so much for listening to my gap and difference. So please like the video if you find it's good, and please share the video if you find it beneficial to other um, of your school friends or whatsoever who are ta who is taking these exams okay so remember your left left short short and left short question you can apply this question easily and save so much time so avoid using guess and check because even though you are allowed to use guess and check for every question in PSLE but I don't think you have the time to complete like almost one quarter of the paper if you're gonna do that so Thank you so much, Arigato gozaimasu, for um, hanging out in Maths Rush. If you have any questions, please ask. And of course, for P6, I will be sharing with you. Um, I will I will be doing another course soon, maybe um, March, which is soon, during the holidays and so on. Or maybe a workshop, depends on the availability of place or something like that. So do hang out and stick around my group to find out more about these updates. And of course... Please enjoy, and I hope you all of you done well in your exams. If not, um, hope that it will be a stepping stone towards success. So, if you see this, I th hope that you see that doing your common test and you realize, Alama, I should have uh, learned this method earlier. So, I'll be sharing more concepts with you along the way. So, hopefully, you like them and share them as well. All right? Thank you so much and. Sorry, um, my flash just died because my phone is 
low in battery so it's all right hopefully you enjoy this video and like it and share it thank you so much and i keep repeating myself so peace out